Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Defense Metals Corp, Craig Taylor. How are you doing today, Craig? Very well. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure. Love having you on the show. Craig, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Defense Metals Corp. Okay, I was a director on a company called First Legacy, and our objective was to search out a a rare earth deposit. And at that point, I was going to come on as CEO. So we successfully did that in late 2018. And then I came on as CEO shortly thereafter, about April 2019. So our deposit is a light rare earth deposit. It's located 70 kilometers north of Prince George, BC in in central British Columbia. It's a very mining friendly jurisdiction, uh, surrounded by copper mines, forestry, good rail ties, road access. So it's, it's a very good deposit. Very good. And we love good deposits and opportunities for companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed here on Rich TV Live. That's really our mandate. Can you tell us some of the major milestones Defense Metals Corp has hit so far this year and what shareholders can look forward to in the last quarter of 2021? Okay, so we've been extremely busy the last two years. We've taken um, a 30 ton ore sample off the mountain in the winter of 2019. Took that for metallurgical testing to SGS Labs. We went through uh, bench scale flotation testing, um, as well as hypermet testing. We came back with fantastic results. So that propelled us to then uh, entertain a drill program in the summer of 2019 which again, was very successful. We hit on 13 of 13 holes, wow. actually doubled the value of our resource. So, so that was a, a huge milestone for us there. So that enabled us to update our 43101. Uh, as I said, now we have approximately 19 million tons at 3% LREO, which is very good tonnage and grade for rare earths. Um, we then took on a pilot plant with SGS Labs and produced uh, 1,200 kilos of high-grade concentrate. Um, And that, again, was very high-grade concentrate, which we can now sell or send to potential offtake partners overseas. Um, And then we entered into a PEA with uh, SRK Consulting. And so they're really experts in the rare earth field. They did uh, the PEA for Mountain Pass, which is the largest producing rare earth mine in North America. In fact, it was the only one until recently. So we're expecting that out in the first, the, the last month of 20, uh, 2021 here, probably November, maybe as early as October, we'll see. Um, so we've been busy, yeah. And based on our current drill program, which we just started last week, we should increase our resource again. Um, and then that will upgrade our categories so that we can then pursue a pre-feasibility study in the first quarter of 2022. So everything we've done thus far has been successful. We just keep de-risking the property. Uh, we're also involved in offtake discussions with four partners right now in Europe and in Asia. So if that comes to fruition, those will be some more milestones we've reached. Um, as well as signing an MOU with Sinosteel. And that's significant. They're a large uh, engineering firm out of China who specializes in rare earths. So what they did for Northern Minerals in Australia is built a modular processing plant, shipped it to Australia, and now Northern is successfully uh, producing a, a mixed carbonate through that processing facility. So our objective is to do something similar to that we're gonna ship them or they're gonna analyze it, decide what would be the best uh, type of processing facility for us, and hopefully get that made on Canadian soil within the next number of years. Wow, you guys have been really busy. And yes. obviously in order to be this successful and have everything hitting the way you are, you have to have a strong team. So can you talk a little bit about the team at Defense Metals Corp, what each person brings to the table, and especially some of their past success in the public markets? Okay, so I guess um, the one I work with closest is, is Chris Raffle. He's our PGO, and he's a principal at Apex Geosciences. Um, they have offices in Perth, Australia, in Edmonton, and in Vancouver, BC. And he's been involved in, in numerous uh, projects from start to finish 
He's very knowledgeable and he's become a, a real expert in the rare earth space. Um, Ryan Chung, he's our CEO. He's been on a, a director and CEO of so many public companies. I, I don't know how many exactly. So he's very, very well versed. Um, and he's a, a CA as well. Um, Andrew Birches is also a, a CA. And so we've got a lot of financial guys on the team. And Max Sally is an entrepreneur who's been involved in many public company successes over the past as well. And NGLD, as well as some new projects he's working on right now. Then on the advisory side, uh, Alex Knox, he's been working with Rara since 1984, I believe. And he actually worked for Molly Corp before it turned into Mountain Pass. So he's got a wealth of Rara experience. Uh, Dale Walster, he was the founder of um, he was the founder of Rough Rider Uranium, and so they were then taken over by Hathor uh, several years ago. Now it was a, a fantastic exit for him. So it's pretty well rounded on the advisor and uh, and board level. So you guys are in the rare earth space. What sectors does rare earth serve best? And how can Defense Metals Corp position themselves and position yourselves to be a market leader in the sector? Well, our particular elements, neodymium and praseodymium, are the key elements used in constructing lightweight, high strength magnets. Oh. And these are found in electric vehicles, Very good. which of course are on the rise right now with all yes. the. All the electrification of the world, wind turbines, there's about 900 pounds in every wind turbine, um, military components, refrigeration systems, cell phones, computers. So really everything we use in our day-to-day -day life needs these magnets. Um, and as, as we ramp up our EV production, they're becoming scarcer and scarcer. There's only so much, it's almost like peak oil. So there's a real scramble now to find these deposits and then extract the neodymium NDPR from them successfully. And we've proven we can do that and not many companies have. So I think that makes us a leader right now, as well as all the work we've done and the success we've, we've had. We, you know, I look at other rare earth companies that have been in business for 10 years and they haven't achieved half of what we have. So wow. um, I think that's testament to the strength of the deposit. I think it's one of the richest deposits in the world right now. And uh, hopefully we can start production in the next few years. That sounds great. What is the future growth of this sector? And how much do you think Defense Metals Corp can capture? Well, um, you know, they're, they're anticipating we're going to need 40% more NDPR within the next five years. Wow. So, you know, it's hard to put a number on it, but I think we are, if you look at our deposit, we're about the same, um, same tonnage as Mountain Pass um, and a high grade and they've been in production for 20 years. And so our mine life will be 15 to 20 years. And that could increase with our next resource. So we've got a long life and uh, a, lot of, a lot of oxide we could produce for the magnet manufacturers. If Defense Metals Corp were to compare itself to its competitors in the sector, which you kind of touched based on a little bit, what would you say sets you guys apart? Um, Really, again, it's just sort of the speed that we've got to market, the grade of our deposit, the size of our deposit, the ease of access is big to our CapEx. CapEx is going to be considerably lower than most of the companies out there. There's deposits that are in the middle of nowhere and they have to build roads, they have to build bridges, they have to barge, barge their ore around. Whereas we, we're road accessible, 70 kilometers from Prince George. Uh, water's on site, electrical's close by, we've got a railhead 20 kilometers away that we could access. So that's really going to come into play because these are very capital intensive projects. Here at Rich TV Live, we really pride ourselves on being fundamental traders. We love to understand the share structure and, and the meat and potatoes of the company, uh, the real fundamentals of the company, the balance sheet, the debt to equity ratios, debt if there is any, and cash flows. We really like to understand everything when we look at these companies. So can you give us an idea a little bit about your share structure and how you guys plan to attract retail as well as more institutional investors? 
Okay. We have currently about 80 million shares outstanding. Great. 114 million fully diluted. And uh, we have about $4 million in the bank right now. So we're Very well good. capitalized to get through our next milestones, which will be the drill program, the PEA, and then get started on our pre-feasibility study. Um, so we won't be needing any money this year, perhaps next year, depending on how much the pre-fees is going to cost. We'll go to the markets, but we'll have in hand our PEA by then. And all the institutional investors want to make sure that this is an economically viable deposit, which we will prove up by the end of the year, which will open the door to more institutions. Our, our retail support's been great in the past. We've been able to raise money to, to reach all these milestones successfully. So we're thankful to them. And we just uh, look for continued growth, growth and support from our sh current shareholders and new ones in the future. We're going to have investors from all over the world looking and watching this interview and this video, learning more about your company. So if you had one thing that you wanted to let your current and potential future shareholders know about Defense Metals Corp today, what would it be? Well, I think it would just be look for the catalysts uh, that are going to come up in the very near future. As I said, a, a PEA in the rare earth space is almost unheard of. So we're going to come up with that before the end of the year. We have off-take agreements with large, large processors internationally, which is a big benchmark as well. And increasing our resource uh, in early 2022 is going to be significant as well. Uh, last time, as I said, we doubled our the metal value of our resource. I don't know what we'll do this time, but uh, I, I can guarantee it will be larger. Wow, that sounds impressive. What is the best way for shareholders to get in contact with you or the company if they have any questions? Our community loves to get to know the company, get to know the CEO. They love to you know, message you and, and, and get responses, to be quite frank, because it makes them feel more comfortable to invest. Is there a specific way for those investors to get in contact with you or the company? Yeah, we usually send everyone through our IR guy. He's a great IR guy, very friendly, and loves taking calls or emails. And his email is Todd at defensemetals.com, uh, route things through him, and then he's happy to talk to you and, and he'll pass investors along to me if need be. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone who's watching that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here in Rich TV Live. In saying that, I believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, Thank you for joining us today, Craig Taylor, the CEO of Defense Metals Corp. Thanks so much for having me. Always a pleasure. And I'd love to invite you back anytime you have big breaking news or anything you'd like to discuss. We'd love to invite you back here on Rich TV Live. Now, for those of you guys that are watching, we love to bring you winners and we love to bring them to you first. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with Craig Taylor, the CEO of Defense Metals Corp, saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.